Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Photoshop for Video, brought to you by CreativeCow.net. Today, we're going to take a look at a new feature in Photoshop CS4 called Content Aware Scaling. Now, it's a big word, but what it really means is the ability to stretch a picture, but only part of a picture, based upon the subject matter. Let's see how it works. Here, we've dropped a picture into a video sized document. You see, I'm working with 1280 by 720. That's great except this particular picture is not going to fill the screen. Now, some people would choose to do things like simply scale this up with a normal transform command, and that's fine, but now to fill the screen, we get tighter than we want, and the chin is hitting the bottom of the frame. So let's press escape. What we're going to do instead is a content-aware scale, which will scale only some of the pixels. To do this, choose Edit, Content-Aware Scale. And what you'll see up here is that we have the ability to scale. Now, on its own, it just stretches things. That's fine. But what we want to take advantage of is the ability here to protect skin tones. So click right here on the little person icon, and skin tone areas will not get distorted. So now, as we stretch, you'll see that the person does not look as distorted. As we stretch that out there, the background stretches, but the person's head is not being affected. There we go. And what we've successfully done there is stretch the picture to fill the frame without actually getting in there and distorting the skin tone area of the person. Now, that works really well. Just hit return and it applies it. But what happens if you're not dealing with skin tones? Well, in that case, you simply need an alpha channel to define a selection. So, let's take a look here at another picture and you'll see a similar scenario. We've got a boat and some trees here, and what we want to do is extend this area to fill that in. Now, I'm going to do a couple things really quick. Let's grab the Clone Stamp tool, Option click or Alt click on the rocks there, and just fill in this little bit of the tree up top. We'll just clone here in normal mode, and a quick clone job will fill a little bit of that in. That looks pretty good. Just wanted to get rid of a few of the leaves. And now we're ready to do the content aware scale. If we look over at the channels, I've already made the alpha channel for this. Let's turn that on. And you'll see what it's done there is it's defining the area where the rocks are. Now you can clean that up, you can blur it, you can do whatever you want, but you just need a basic selection. Usually you could do this by using a single channel or any of the selection techniques we've covered on past shows. If you want to soften that up a bit, just select the alpha channel and use the blur tool and just go over the edges a little bit so they're not quite as pronounced. And that looks pretty good. Turn on the RGB channels and select them and just turn the alpha off. If you want, you can name that something logical like boat. And now we're all set for the content aware scale. Back in the layers panel, We'll select the layer, choose Edit, Content Aware Scale, and make sure we tell it to protect the boat. Now, as we scale, the background changes, but the boat itself is left untouched. Notice how the rocks are stretching to fill that area in. And there we go. Quick return, and we have successfully transformed this particular image to work in the high def space. So, Content Aware Scale is really useful as you start to have images that weren't quite shot with the right composition for video. By harnessing it, either with skin tones or an alpha channel to protect the target area, you can resize your photos to work with those fixed dimensions that video requires. My name's Rich Harrington. Hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Photoshop for Video. Be sure to head on over to creativecow.net where you'll find me in the Photoshop forum, taking questions and trying to offer up some answers. Thanks again.